Hello, it's Tyler with the author team, and I'm going to show off some new smart chat scoring features. So if you go to edit scoring, you're going to see a slightly revised scoring page here that's going to show the different scoring categories that you have set up. And uh, this is sort of an overview screen. And then by clicking on any one of these scoring categories, you'll be able to dive in and edit those scoring, scoring categories and have additional options. Uh, you also now see here visually represented um, a just a little visual indicator that shows the breakdown of different um, response uh, feed, uh, res response feedback. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm just going to click on the first scoring category, which is professionalism. And as you can see up here at the top now, uh, here's the where you name your scoring category and you can edit that and you have up to 25 characters for each scoring category name. Uh, something new here is that you can set a starting value. So previously in smart chat, the starting value of your score would always start at zero. But it could be that you might not necessarily want that. You could maybe start it at 50 points and either go up or go down uh, based on how you do. Uh, you could start it as, uh, at 100 and or, or whatever you want it to start it at. So that's something uh, just as a new feature. By default, it will go to zero. Uh, over here, as before, we had the ability to determine whether or not uh, we show the scoring category to players or not. Uh, turning it off here will uh, sort of keep that as a, a private scoring category, which still allows you to do some feedback down the line, but uh, you can hide that for the player during the game. Um, something new here is the ability to pin the category. And when you, a category is pinned, that means that it's going to be shown over here on the top bar. Uh, if you don't pin any categories, the categories will be uh, available under the view score section over here. But uh, if you pin them, so your, your most important categories or things that you really want to call attention to, you can actually have that on the top bar at all times. So uh, in this case, uh, two scoring categories were both pinned to our top bar. OK, so that's what the pin does. You can just pin it and unpin it. Uh, something else new is the ability to give the scoring category uh, you, it, the scoring category could be a uh, dollar, uh, so a monetary value. So if you put that in there, then instead of just showing zero as in zero points, uh, it would actually show dollar sign zero. Uh, so so you know if for games that are financially related, you could actually start players. It, it might could be uh, every point you add or subtract could be a dollar amount. Likewise, uh, you also have the ability to show it as a percentage. So. Um, if you don't select any of those, then it will just show the points as normal. And then as before, you have the ability to control whether or not the player will see the total score. Uh, so X out of uh, Y, with Y being the total possible points in a category, uh, so they can show that or not. Um, and then whether or not you allow the scoring category to go negative. So these are the player choices here, or the author choices here. We also have underneath this, the ability to set up your feedback ranges. And so uh, a couple of new things here, um, we're displaying feedback ranges, both in terms of percents and in terms of the points. So what's nice about showing it in percents is that you as an author can just set it up, okay, you know, zero to 65% is going to be, uh, get this feedback, 66 to 79% will get this feedback, and 80 to 100% will get this feedback. So basically there's sort of three tiers set up here based on percentages. And by setting it up as percentages, that works really well because then if you make a change to your scoring at any point, it still it automatically updates and it's just sticking it to percentages. Um, but if you do wanna see how that percentage relates to the points that the player is earning uh, based on how you've set up your scoring, uh, you can see that over here as well. So we show it in both uh, percentage and in points. Um, we also have the ability now, uh, here is the feedback that players will get at the end of the game. So if they get this scoring category if and they finish in the zero to 65% of the possible points range, uh, this is the message that will be shown. We also have the ability now in the 
response to add an image to the response. So here's an uploaded image. Sorry, you didn't get hired uh, to go with this poor response. And then another new feature is that we have the ability to add highlight colors. And there's actually three highlight col colors possible, uh, a red, a green, and an, and an orange. So usually what we do is we set it up so that your highlight color, uh, usually red means danger or, or bad performance. Um, orange can mean uh, usually means uh, sort of mid mid level performance, and then we have green meaning uh, good. But again, that it's totally subjective, and it's totally up to you whether or not you want to have these scoring categories. But as you can see over here, uh, in this case, this this player performance did really good with IT knowledge. So that's in the green. Uh, he got 40 out of 40 in IT knowledge. And so we see that's highlighted green, but he did very poorly in professionalism, negative 50 points. And so that puts him in the red for that scoring categories. So that's how those color codes can be controlled over here. You can choose uh, if you just leave it gray, then it won't be color coded at all. OK, and so you see we have three feedback ranges over here. And OK, so that's all I'm going to show. Uh, we also now have the ability to upload a audio file uh, if we wanted to add an audio file to voice over the uh, feedback uh, in the end of game feedback. All right, um, ability to add more ranges if you want, but in this case, there's three ranges. All right, I'm gonna hit save there, and we're back at the edit scoring screen. Now, IT knowledge, you'll see here, we, we've had the same deal. Uh, no images uploaded for this one, Cho chose not to. And what else is new with this scoring is that, that you can actually set up different feedback ranges for different scoring categories. Before, we sort of had it set up so that all of the score, so that you could, you just set up the ranges, but the ranges had to work across different, it had to be the same across all categories. Now you can set up individualized ranges for this. So you can see, see this scoring category, unlike the other one, uh, had, has only two ranges. OK, now another cool feature that we added, which allows authors to better see sort of how this rolls up to the player is this is the rubric view. And so what we can see in rubric view is here's our two categories and then here's our ranges. And then here's the feedback that the player is going to get for each range. So we can use this as a high level overview to make sure that we're accounting for things that, for the feedback as we want and we can see where they will fit. So for professionalism, there's three different feedback possibilities and for IT knowledge, uh, there's two. Okay, but again, this is entirely up to the author how they wanna set that up. And just to show you on the flip side, so this is a game where I've just played through and I'm near the end, uh, did very poorly on professionalism, but knocked it out of the part on IT knowledge. Thanks again for your interest in Tech City. I look okay. forward to speaking with you again soon. All right, thanks for your time. Hope to see you with you soon. I got a little point there. Rob Bigglesworth shakes your hand. And now here's my feedback, okay? So here's my game complete. And you'll see I've got professionalism, negative 40 out of 70. Uh, see, notice that it's color-coded here. You didn't get the job. Perhaps you should enroll in a career counseling course. And then here's the image, sorry you didn't get hired, that's now uh, ability to tag that along with some feedback. But you'll see I did know my stuff in terms of IT knowledge. So that's the feedback there. So again, uh, these are some changes that we think will make the authoring tool uh, more powerful for uh, authors and easier to see how the feedback is going to work and be presented with the students while you're authoring. So hope that helps.